Good afternoon. My name is Michael Crumrine, spelled C-R-U-M-R-I-N-E. I'm a sergeant with the Austin Police Department Child Abuse Unit, and we're here today to talk about an incident that happened on April 1st, 2023, and we're asking for the public's assistance in helping us trying to locate an individual. So on the morning of April 2nd, 2023, officers responded to the 2200 block of Willow Creek Drive, the Sophia apartment, for a complainant who wanted to report that they had captured a, an adult male having what she believed to be sexual contact with a child that was caught on ring camera. Subsequent interview afterwards um, showed that there was a Hispanic man that had grabbed a young child, pulled them close to themselves and had been touching them. Uh, further investigation revealed the, from interviewing of the, children, the child that the touching that was done was definitely done in a sexual manner um, with the child. Once this occurred and this information came forward, members of uh, the community had confronted the suspect uh, and the suspect then fled the scene. The suspect is described from video surveillance as being a Hispanic male uh, in their 30s, possibly 40 years of age, approximately five foot five to five foot seven, and is heavy set. Um, the suspect has uh, black hair and some facial hair. It's reported that the suspect speaks Spanish and was last seen wearing a short sleeve red shirt, dark gray or green shorts, and a yellow and purple shoes. We have some other photos uh, on the board of the suspect taken from two different times. We believe that he frequents the apartment complex. We have video surveillance from him from March the 25th, and then also on the morning of when the assault occurred, which was on April 1st, 2023. The Austin Police Department Child Abuse Unit uh, is asking for the community's assistance in identifying the suspect, as well as any individual who may have information concerning the incident. Anyone who does have any information uh, about this inf incident is asked to contact the APD Child Abuse Tip Line at 512-974-6880 or Crime Stoppers at 512-472-TIPS. You can also use the Crime Stopper app uh, or you can also submit tips by downloading the APD mobile app at APD for free either on your iPhone or Android. With that information, I'll open it up for any questions that y'all may have concerning this incident. At this point, uh, you said it was through a neighbor who saw everything on a ring camera? Correct. correct? So does that mean, uh, has the family of the said minor come forward? You guys already identified that? Person? Correct. Yes. What can you tell us about the, the minor so that way people can know a little bit of what happened? Like if they remember seeing anything. So we, we don't discuss or identify children. Uh, that have been abused either physically or sexually in any of our reports and by state law. Uh, what we can say is the child was an 11 year old female um, at the time uh, that the assault took place. So this person saw the ring video uh, as it was occurring or they checked it, they came up Correct. later? Thank you very much. That's a very good question. Uh, there, there was nothing that was observed in real time. Nobody witnessed the crime occurring and did not call 911. That was not the case here. What had happened was is that uh, the complainant had reviewed their video surveillance from their ring camera from the previous day and they had noticed this and they felt compelled at that point to notify law enforcement of what they believed was a crime against a child, a sexual abuse of a child that was recorded on their cameras. And so it was at that point that we became involved in the investigation and subsequently we've identified uh, the parties that were involved as far as the survivor. Um, we're asking for the public's assistance in helping us to identify the suspect. I just, I know you did this earlier, but just a brief description of the, or a description of the suspect. 
So the suspect is described as a Hispanic male, heavy set, approximately five foot five to five foot seven uh, inches tall, and that um, they have dark black hair, uh, potentially facial hair, as you can see from the video or, or from the different photos. Uh, they were last seen wearing a short sleeve red shirt, um, which is depicted here in the video, uh, as well as uh, dark gray or green shorts and purple shoes. And for clarification purposes, what was the name of the apartment complex again? It was the Sophia Apartments. Sophia Apartments. Okay. Could okay. you click the other? It's just got a couple of better photos taken at different times. At this point, are there any indications that this person actually lives at said complex? Or what can you tell us about that? At this point, we don't have any information to suggest that the individual does actually reside in those complex, but we are familiar with that the individual has frequented the complex uh, at a short time before the assault. Uh, and then obviously on the day of the assault, and we believe that they frequented the apartment complex afterwards. Um, I know you said you're not gonna be able to talk too much about the victim, but at least is the female receiving any help? Or what yes. can you tell us about that? We're very, f we're very fortunate here in Travis County. The Center for Child Protection, which we work with on a daily basis, is a phenomenal resource for survivors of child physical and sexual abuse. And so the family has been in contact with them. They've been providing services to the family um, in, in various different manners that will hopefully help the survivor uh, process through this event um, moving forward. Are you reaching out to the public because you? We don't know who this person is. Uh, we have no idea who this person is. Uh, we've talked to quite a, f a, a few individuals within the apartment complex as well as others trying to identify this individual uh, but at this point we still have not been able to so we're really hoping that somebody in the public can look at these photos under and know the location see the photos and help us identify who this individual is thank you guys thank you